We have now uh, about a week that uh, the tremors in the area of the Sundunka craters indicate imminent eruption. Uh, we have a f- evidence for flexure of the lithosphere in the form of this uh, uh, rhythm of the six hours, uh, in my view, tidal flexure, squeezing out the magma, rising it to the through the lithosphere. At the same time, we have the rising of the uh, earth crust. Due to the emplacement of the magma, we can see through the earth actually. By looking at the uh, seismic activity, the depth of it, we can see the magma is shallow here. Is at the depth something between 1 to 5 kilometers and is rising. We have similar thing in the 29th of the November 2023 when we had a similar pattern of the flexure due to the, in my view, tidal effect. And after that, we had this swarm of the earthquakes, a sudden sharp rise in the harmonic tremors, both tectonic and magmatic lines, purple line, rose, and we had an eruption. And that continued for around uh, four or five days. And after that, it died back. So Nunca crater changed from this old crater through this uh, lava flows to this scenery that we see now. We have a similar situation. Of course, due to the bad weather, we don't have the seismic activity completely covered for this period. But we have evidence that the magma is rising and the earth cracks is actually swelling. On 29th of November, when we showed that seismic activity, the pattern started until the 18th of the December, that eruption happened. We had around uh, two and a half weeks. I think this time, because the magma is already raising, we will have within 10 days. And that volcano will erupt within that 10 days.